Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. I have returned from my break. I would like to give a thank you to Wolf and Nathan for holding down the channel while I've been gone. Hopefully you did enjoy those 5PD callout videos and those Minecraft server reviews. More coming soon. Anyway, back to this resource. Today we are installing a AFK resource. So pretty much what this does is it allows players to use a command slash AFK space and then the reason and it will make this cool little um, like icon thing here. Apparently GeForce drivers decide to pop up in the middle of my screen that's okay but it will make this cool little um like afk thing um and the time sense and the reason why so admins and others on the server can see that um in terms of the admin side of this um pretty much what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be covering that mainly because i don't want to go over the um like the adding specify server admins and everything they do have a uh, tutorial on where you actually have to put them just go ahead and click the button on their resource page all this is linked in the top of the description as well um, but we're just going to go ahead and install it. So all you have to do is go to the resource page, click the GitHub link, which will take you to the actual page. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click the big green button and then the download zip file. This will go ahead and download the zip for our game here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our server folder. This is a server side resource and you're going to go to wherever you store your resources. For me, it's my server data resources folder. If you're on Zap hosting, it's going to be through your FTP file access, stuff like that. And in here you can see you got the main folder here and you got all of the different files so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this over to our resources folder and we're actually going to rename it and get rid of that dash main at the end mainly because um just github adds that and we are going to go ahead and copy the name of the actual folder so in here you can see your client and your server file the server file is going to be where you can add those admins in here if you really want them later so you have your steam um hexadecimal type of um ID here you can get that from like steam DB or something um, and it just goes ahead and it makes you an admin so you can use those admin commands to force unset and force AFK players as well um, so let's go ahead and add this to our server.cfg file for me once again it's in my server data folder it can be within whatever folder if you're on a zap hosting or TX admin setup it's probably gonna be in your web ed interface uh, stuff like that so I'm just gonna add insure here the name of the folder we just copied it can be insure or start doesn't matter um, a lot of people ask me that for some reason it doesn't really matter, um, just make it whatever you currently have. And then you're gonna go ahead and open up your start.bat or your, like, however you open it, fxserver.exe, something like that. And as long as you see in the resource, started resource, the name of the folder, which in this case is the AFK folder, we know everything is loaded properly. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and see what we can do with the commands. All right, so we are in game here, and we're gonna go ahead and press T to open up our chat, which you're not gonna be able to see because five of them is broken for me with that. And I'm just gonna type slash AFK and then space a reason. So I'll put test, and you can see I turn invisible, invincible. It'll say the time since I've turned AFK and the reason why I turned AFK. Um, obviously, if I just do slash AFK once again, it will make me un AFK. Um, so that is the way to do it. Hopefully, this did help you. And um, like, subscribe, comment for more, and I will see you in two days for another video. See you all then.